So I've got a question here where you've got to find out the identity of the unknown metal X in the compound X2CO3. So let's have a quick read through the question. So we're told how many grams of X2CO3 was dissolved in distilled water. It's then made up to 250 cm cubed in a volumetric flask. And then they've taken 25 cm cubed of that solution, put it into a conical flask, and carried out a titration on it using 0 0.1 mole per decimeter cubed hydrochloric acid. And it was found that the average titra was 19.05 cm cubed of acid. So from that information, we can deduce the identity of X in X2CO3. There's the chemical equation. So if you need some hints, keep watching. So I'm going to go through them now. If you don't need any hints, pause the video and then fast forward to me going through the answers. Okay, so the hints, there's five things really that you need to do. There's five steps essentially. So you need to calculate the moles of HCl in that average titra. We then use the chemical equation to deduce the moles of X2CO3 used in the titration. Then deduce the moles of X2CO3 in the original 250 cm cubed solution. We can work out the molar mass of X2CO3 from that. And then we can find out the molar mass of X and obviously establish its identity. So the first thing I had to do, calculate the moles of HCl in the average titra, so that's concentration times volume. Just remember, volume must be in dm cubed, and you can see there's the answer there. The chemical equation helps us deduce the moles of X2CO3 used in the titration. So there's a 2 to 1 ratio, and so we're going to need, or there would have been half as many moles of X2CO3 present. So that's that number there. The moles of X2CO3 in the original solution is 10 times that, so we just lose a zero. The molar mass is mass over moles, so that 1.32 grams that was dissolved divided by the moles is giving us an MR of 138.6. And then the molar mass of X, well all we do is we subtract what we know about X2CO3, so that's the C, and the three O's, they have a mass of 60. So if we take them off the total MR, we get for X2, 78.6. And so X must be half of that, which comes out at 39.3. And so therefore it has to be potassium. Now there's another clue that it's got to be a group one metal. And that's because the formula of this carbonate is X2, CO3. Carbonate ions have a 2 minus charge, and so therefore we must have a 1 plus ion, two of those, to cancel out the overall charge.